many different groups that will be wetting uh, the appetite of, of many football fans, uh, but you're particularly interested in that group. Quite interesting with the the U.S., Iran, but also England and a fourth team that's yet to be uh, determined. Yes, Charles, that fourth team uh, is one of the European teams that still has to play off. That's either one of Wales, uh, Scotland or Ukraine, as it happens to be. So... Uh, as you said, a lot of interesting political permutations, geopolitical off the field, but really on the field is where I want to focus because that USA team uh, is very much a dark horse. Uh, they've got lots of players uh, across Europe, uh, up and coming, Christian Pulisic, Sergio Desch for Barcelona, sorry, uh, uh, Gio Reyna even for, for Borussia Dortmund. So um, England have to watch their backs. Uh, they aren't going to have a free run at this group. It's not the uh, most straightforward for the three Lions, Euro 2020 finalists against Italy, who themselves were knocked out before the World Cup draw, by the way. So there we have it, those, those first pools, uh, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, African champions, Netherlands, uh, finalists in 2010, uh, a lot of different permutations. Can Qatar make it out of the group stage as hosts? Uh, only South Africa in the past was the uh, host nation to not make it out of the group stages at a World Cup. Um, then we go on to Pool C. That's Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Argentina, of course, they've got the likes of Lionel Messi. Uh, they made it to the final in 2014. He hasn't got his hands on the most coveted prize in world football just yet. Uh, but they will be confident of at least topping their group. If they top their group, then they will be playing the second place team in group in Pool D. Uh, that Group D, rather, uh, that is uh, between France, Denmark, Tunisia, Peru, Australia, or the United Arab, Arab Emirates, depending on who wins that intercontinental playoff. France, they will fancy their chances once again. Didier Deschamps has his team firing on all cylinders, especially with the likes of Kylian Mbappe leading the line, Olivier Giroud, uh, Karim Benzema. They really will be confident going into that uh, quarterfinal stage. But if they do get through to the quarterfinals, well, they could very well face uh, England. They could very well face also Brazil uh, and one of Spain or Germany. So if we then go back to the rest of the pools, Group E, uh, very fascinating matchup there. We were thinking maybe there could be a group of of death Spain versus Germany uh, that's one of the crunch clashes uh, in football history uh, Spain of course beating Germany in the semi-finals of the 2010 World Cup 1-0 uh, Germany will certainly want to uh, prove that under Hansi Flick they have developed as a team and uh, uh, that Spain uh, test is certainly one for them to watch out for. Japan, well, the Samurais, well, they're going to have a very tough encounter. And then between Costa Rica and New Zealand for that other intercontinental playoff, uh, that has to be decided still uh, with those uh, coming uh, around in about June time. Uh, then F, Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. This could be that potential group of death. Belgium, not quite that golden generation it once was. It's just about two years too late. Same as Croatia, this team that played France in that 2018 final with Luka Modric and uh, Mario Mandzukic leading that line. Uh, so we don't know if Belgium and Croatia come down on the way in Canada. It's their first World Cup in 36 years. So uh, an amazing, amazing result for them to actually make it. And then Morocco with Ashraf Hakimi, the local PSG man, uh, maybe he can lead his team into that next round. So a very fascinating group if they the winners play the second place in Group E between uh, Spain and Germany. So again, we could have a Belgium, Spain, Germany uh, matchup straight away. Uh, one of those fascinating uh, games. Then Group G, uh, five times winners, Brazil. Uh, they are now back to the top of those FIFA rankings, those FIFA men rankings, uh, usurping uh, Belgium recently. So they are now in Group G with Serbia, Switzerland, and uh, African hosts of the AFCON, uh, Cameroon. Now, Cameroon, they had a very promising AFCON. Will it prove to be enough? Can they overcome the likes of Switzerland and Serbia? Serbia especially is a very nice up-and-coming team. Uh, Vlaovic, uh, they've got uh, really... Um, in, like uh, Mitrovic as well, Alexandra Mitrovic up top. Uh, very strong team, but Brazil will be favorites for that. And then finally, Group H, Portugal coming through against North Macedonia to qualify with that incredible forward line, Ronaldo, João Felix, Bruno Fernandes, uh, and uh, Uruguay and Ghana. This is a very fascinating one, that rematch of that infamous Suarez handball and uh, Ghana getting knocked out at the quarterfinal stage, also in 2010, lots of games there. And then finally, South Korea rounding up that group so, plenty to look forward to. Incredible football to uh, uh, anticipate for that 21st of November kickoff in Qatar. Uh, we will bring all the results as they come uh, live from there. I'm sure you will, Joy. 